Hello, it's another self-compassion video. I hope you're enjoying the videos so far. Please give it a thumbs up if you are, and let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like to see with regards to practices in self-compassion. This morning I was reading a book about manifesting money and creating abundance. And one of the exercises is to visualize where you see yourself in five years. What kind of home you want to live in, what do you want to be doing for work or your purpose, who are you going to be with, all of these things that kind of make up what your life would look like. And the challenge that I'm having and the challenge that I've been having for a long time, the, the whole time that I've been on this personal growth journey, is that I have a really difficult time envisioning what I want for the future. I can be happy in a lot of scenarios. So I've been feeling like I'm kind of wrong or like there's something wrong with me for not knowing or like I should know or feeling a little bit down about it. But then I remembered with hands on our hearts to notice the feelings that come up and to say, of course you feel that way. And just to really empathize with that it's okay to have our feelings and it's normal to feel however we feel. And then I sat with it and I was like, of course. Of course I would feel like I should know more of what I want. Of course I would feel sad that I don't have a clear, crystal clear vision of how the next five years are gonna lay out. Of course I would have concerns about that. Of course I would feel sad. Of course I might have memories about how things have not worked out the way that I planned, so how could I ever plan really for that far into the future? Of course I would feel that way, it's only understandable. Right now, I'm going to empathize with the feeling of stuckness, the feeling of, of not knowing, and all of the emotions that come up with that sadness, disappointment, worry, fear. Of course I would feel those things. Anyone would who was felt like they should have a plan for the future and they didn't. So that's how I'm practicing self-compassion today. How about you? Post your comments below. Oh, oh, yeah. Post your comments. How are you taking care of yourself and how are you practicing compassion for not only the parts of yourself that you like, but the parts of yourself that are maybe in the little darker recesses or the things that you don't like as much, the things that embarrass you. How are you practicing self-compassion for those aspects of yourself? Lots of love. Namaste.